morning everyone. My name is Benny Sagai and I'm a senior at Providence College. I will be graduating in 13 days. Yes, I am counting and I am ready to graduate. For four years straight, I've been stopped and questioned by security and safety officers. And most of the time, they drive around in their van to see if I belong to campus. It is frustrating and dehumanizing to be questioned yearly. Do I exist? Yes, I exist. I attend this private institution. My sophomore year, in particular, during Easter break, I was permitted to stay on campus by residence life. I decided to go to Student Center, Slavin, to complete my homework assignment. I was wearing a black, ho a black hoodie, and I noticed that there was an officer following me as I, I was walking to Slavin. I first thought he was just driving for security reasons, but I was wrong. When I got to, to Slavin st to study, I was approached by this particular officer and questioned it. And he asked me if I went to PC and I said yes. And he responded with, oh sorry, I thought you were one of the neighborhood kids. I was stunned and was speechless. This is the experience that most students of color go through and we do not, and we do not fit the image, the normal image of PC. And to them we are just neighborhood kids. Currently I served as a resident assistant on campus. I am an RA and and I thought you know, being a student employee would decrease the constant inter interrogation and profiling since security officers would be working with me. But that's not the reality I saw my job. Every single time I walk on, on campus with a hoodie, I can see a security van lurking and driving slow to identify who I am. Just last week, I was at a parking lot behind the chapel. I was waiting by my friend's car. And yes, I was wearing a hoodie because it was cold. And I saw a, far, a security van slowing, slowly driving. When, I, when he got near me, he recognized who I was. Once he recognized who I was, he waved and drove by. But he was slowly driving to see who I was, to identify who I was and if I belonged on campus. And when he saw me, he just drove by. That is the stuff that I go through constantly, four years straight. I'm tired, I'm weary. This is what's happening, and I'm graduating. It's great, but those who are behind me, those who are gonna come in freshman year, they will have to go through this every single time. We have to, we have to fight for this. I've endured persecution from this school. I'm thankful to, to be leaving. I will never forget what the student, one student said to me before he graduated last year. He said, they don't want you, they just need you. What that means is, they just need you for that diversity number. They need you for that diversity stat. They don't want you, they don't want me. I, I believe that. I have fought and fought and fought against security officers and administrators. And yeah, they said, we'll get back to you. We'll, 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 we'll take care of it. And nothing has been done. I'm just a number right now. They don't want me, they just need me. So thank you for everyone for coming out. Appreciate it. This is fight for everyone. It's not just you know black and white. There's everyone who are gay, lesbian. We're fighting for justice for everyone who's been persecuted, who's been you know shut down because of who they are, but who they what they believe in. So we, we must fight justice for all.